Hello there folks, my name is Spooks, and I saw Uncharted, and I didn't like it. Now, while I didn't hate it necessarily, there are certainly worse movies based off video games. Hell, Ruben Fleischer has made way worse movies in the past. <clears throat> the first Venom. <clears throat> Ooh, sorry folks, something was in my throat there for a second. But regardless, even though this is admittedly a lot better than many of the movies I've talked about on this channel, hell, it's not even the worst movie I've seen this year, and it probably won't even crack top 10 worst. I still didn't find this movie to be all that enjoyable or just all that fun or entertaining first the positives i totally understand what the filmmakers were trying to do with this movie and damn it they tried their best as it has a very light-hearted tone it doesn't take itself too seriously the actors are clearly trying everybody here the directors the screenwriters everyone here was trying to make this a silly fun dumb action film in a way and for some of those aspects it really paid off first like the actors were clearly trying their all and were having a ton of fun and the chemistry between the majority of them specifically the two leads tom holland and mark Wahlberg, was spot on and i don't really think anyone gave a real bad performance here some of the light-hearted tone and fun humor got a chuckle out of me here and there i wasn't laughing but it got me to chuckle throughout it and there were definitely some points throughout it where it was fun and exciting and dumb stuff your popcorn in your face type fun like with some of the action scenes i never played the video games so i don't know how well this movie resembles that aspect of the game but in terms of how they were incorporated into the movie they were fun exciting and just really entertaining to watch the video the visual effects and the choreography and the way it was shot and even the stunt work and practical effects were really well done and also just very entertaining to watch but sadly that's all i can say that i really liked or enjoyed about this movie as this movie has a whole lot of issues while i appreciate what they were going for and i can at least see say that they tried it didn't really pay off in the execution because man this is a fl flimsy movie we have here first off while it does have a light-hearted tone it clashes with the serious darker tone that it throws in there it doesn't really know what movie it wants to be it doesn't know if it wants to embrace the silliness and the wacky insanity of the games or if it wants to take itself seriously a la indiana jones or even the mummy and i felt like that serious tone didn't really mesh well or felt like it was a part of the same movie as the silly year over the top tone that the film is also throwing at you which also kind of felt very forced and jarring as a lot of the jokes and the little jabs as to man isn't this ridiculous aren't we doing something stupid right now felt very forced and just not funny speaking of funny this movie is not very funny it tries to be but it fails i will admit like i said earlier it did make me chuckle here and there but overall a lot of the one-liners and the slapstick gags didn't really make me grin or smile or let out any sort of laugh during the whole movie really i was just sitting there bored and waiting for them to get to the next clue and speaking of the clues and the whole journey aspect a lot of the clues and the searching for the treasure if you will was very boring and uninteresting say what you will about jungle cruise that made the journey and the clues of finding that treasure if you will without going into spoilers made it fun and interesting and offered a different take on the journey aspect hell dora and the lost city of gold was a more engaging fun and interesting treasure hunting movie in my opinion another issue is that while the actors are trying giving it their all and having a ton of fun being in this movie the downside is that they're not really given a whole lot to work with as they are very bland for gettable uninteresting 
interesting, and some of them I just felt were plainly miscast. Tom Holland easily stands out because, well, he's the main character, and the most interesting stuff involves him, but also he's the one giving it his all. He knows what movie he's in, and he's, you know, he's trying his best best really he does have the most amount of good moments and definitely is the is at the center of it all here everyone else again they're trying and i don't think any of them were bad it's just that the material they were given wasn't all that interesting you have mark Wahlberg, who i'm sorry he was miscast i never played the games and even i felt he was miscast it didn't feel like he was playing the character of sully it just felt like he was playing his character from those late transform michael bay transformers movies and everyone else was so forgettable and bland that i can't even remember their names they had this girl tag along with them who the actress was doing a really good job she also was one of my favorite performances the problem is that her character was weak so much so that they took her out of the climax entirely which was unfortunate because i liked the character so much and the villains were also bland and hollow i can barely remember their names or motivations so overall i cannot say i was a fan of this movie outside of seeing what the filmmakers were trying to do they at least tried some of the actors were really good with their performances and the chemistry between them was solid some of the action scenes were really fun and exciting i appreciated some moments of the silly tone and i chuckled here and there it ultimately was a big disappointment for me as i thought this movie would be a little bit better the trailers looked a bit promising in my opinion well the first one some of the other ones were a bit concerning but even i was still hoping for something a little better than what we got here the story was uninteresting and unengaging the characters were weak it's not funny the tone clashes multiple points throughout the movie and even some of the action scenes were poorly put together if you're a fan of the games i don't think you will really like this movie and if you're just looking for a good action adventure film i'd say just stick with jungle cruise and once again i can't believe i'm saying this but dora and the lost city of gold as those were better modern action adventure films than this but if you're really curious i'd say wait till it's on like a streaming service as i don't really recommend checking out uncharted and even some of the action scenes were a little flimsy here as a part of the stuff where i guess that came from the game like the scene with the plane and the scene with the pirate ships those are in the trailers those are not spoilers they're in the trailers but other than those scenes where i feel like they were a part of the games everything else was very poorly made like i could barely tell what was going on it was poorly shot and it relied a little bit on shaky cam which isn't the best thing for an action film and it just didn't look all that well put together as some of the other action scenes put into the movie it was very strange to say the least and those were my thoughts on uncharted what did you all think of it if you've seen it did you like it did you hate it comment down below and let me know if you like this video hit the like button if you like this channel hit the subscribe button follow me on all the social media links at the end of the video and until next time everyone stay sharp Thank <music> you.